Welcome back to the Milkweed and Monarch Project. In this episode, we will explore all things milkweed, from seed to plant to full fields of milkweed in the wild. At the end of April, I decided to plant milkweed seeds. I had received these seeds from various people throughout Ann Arbor who had harvested them and had extras they didn't need. I decided to experiment and plant them all directly into the soil without a period of cold exposure. This period is known as cold stratification and it helps the seeds chances of germinating. So for this first batch, I did not do that. Here's the process of me planting them. After two weeks, I checked in with my milkweed seeds. I knew there was a lower chance that these would all germinate because they hadn't had a period of cold exposure, which they usually would have in the wild. After planting them, they were kept in my indoor greenhouse until it warmed up outside. After about four weeks, very little was happening with my seeds. I checked in on them again at the end of May, this time on my porch, where they had been moved to adjust to outdoor conditions. By the end of June, I had seven small starter pots of milkweed. Unfortunately, the rest of the tray was knocked off of its shelf on my porch, and the rest of the milkweed was disturbed. You can see one stray seedling trying to make a comeback, but nothing else grew after. This was because the seeds did not initially have proper cold exposure. Around the same time that I planted the non-cold stratified seeds, I also decided to start the process of cold stratification in my refrigerator. To do this, I gathered Tupperware containers and damp paper towels. The goal of this project is to have the seeds stay in the refrigerator for around 30 to 60 days to mimic cold exposure experienced in nature. I laid out the damp paper towels and evenly spread the milkweed and native flower seeds, then labeled each Tupperware with a date. Now that you have these in their Tupperware containers, you can also use just plastic bags or any other airtight container with a moist paper towel. And then you're going to put these in your refrigerator for 30 days. At the end of July, I finally planted my cold stratified seeds. They ended up being in the refrigerator for about 75 days. I went ahead and planted the milkweed seeds in the same tray I used earlier this season, planting about three seeds per cell. After planting the new seeds, I moved them over to a new spot in my yard where four of the remaining plants from earlier this year are sitting. The only good news about this low turnout rate is that already female monarchs have used these plants to lay eggs. After a couple days, I checked in on my milkweed seeds and noticed that they were going to have a much higher success rate right off the bat. After a couple days, there were already sprouts. After nine days, almost the entire tray had multiple plants in each cell. Now let's take a look at the cycle of milkweed from spring until August. Starting with the initial sprouts that come up in late April.
I'm back in Ellie's garden today. It's August, which means the monarch season is winding down for the year. We'll check back later in the season to see some seed pods. There might be some over here. After learning that milkweed pods were edible, I started cooking them last year. Now I've got an all new recipe and I can't wait to try it. Let's take a look. Pick pods that are between one and two inches long. They should snap off easily. Here are a bunch of pods that I've collected. You can see that the silk and the seeds still haven't matured. The inside is almost cheese-like. It's probably not necessary, but I boil all the pods for about a minute. Then cut them up and add them to a stir-fry. Delicious! <laughs> 